My name is Sebastian Chaston from Glasgow Caledonian University, and I'm today welcoming you to an interview of Alexei Leon on behalf of the Journal of Physical Activity and Health. He will tell us about his latest uh, research, a paper entitled The Effect of Elite Sport on Physical Activity Practice in the General Population, a systematic review that is soon to be published in the Journal of Physical Activity and Health. Alexi, so delighted to have you here. Do you want to introduce yourself so everybody knows who you are and what you do? Thanks a lot for the invitation. Um, I'm Alexi Lyon and I'm working in Luxembourg uh, for a federation uh, which proposes physical activity for people with chronic diseases. Okay, so Alexi, do you want to tell us about your uh, motivation to undertake this uh, particular piece of research? Yes. Um, the, the mythical effect of elite sport to increase the physical activity practice of the general population is often used by uh, the uh, decision makers and policy makers to legitimize spending public money to support elite sport events and or to finance, finance elite sport programs or athletes. Then we wanted to know uh, if this effect, also called the trickle-down effect, was true. Okay. Do you want to explain to us a little bit more about what this uh, trickle-down effect is hypothesis uh, to be and, and how it works? Yes. Uh, actually, the trickle-down effect is composed by three different mechanisms. The first one is the effect of hosting elite sport events. The second is the effect of elite sport success. And the third one is the effect of elite sport role modeling. Okay. Uh, so... Having read all the literature about uh, this trickle-down effect, what is your conclusion about it? We included 36 articles in our systematic review, and we did not observe any evidence of the trickle-down effect, whatever the mechanisms. These studies might have looked at this effect on different scales, and I can imagine the Olympic Games might have a, a, an hypothesized effect that is global, but uh, for example, town might uh, compete to um, have the, the Commonwealth Games or some games coming to their uh, municipality with the view of increasing the physical activity in their locality, so at the town level. Did you ex see any um, evidence that this trickle-down effect might work at different scales? So most of the studies uh, evaluated the trickle-down effect at the large-scale uh, level and they did not observe any uh, effect. Only a few studies evaluated the trickle-down effect at the scale of a town or a region. Again, uh, no effect was observed. For example, uh, Kurumi Aizawa and colleagues did not observe an increase uh, of uh, physical activity practice in the regions which hosted elite sport events like the Olympic Games compared to the other regions in Japan. So what, what are for you the implication of that, of your conclusions, really? So um, the implications are mainly for the uh, policy makers and decision makers. So now I think they should not use this um, a trickle effect to support uh, finance uh, elite sport events or to uh, finance elite sport programs. They should use other, um, uh, other um, explanations, maybe economic explanations or uh, geopolitical uh, reasons. Okay. So, but for you, I mean, it's a pretty logical thing that people have, have argued for years. When you now tell us that it doesn't work, but what, why do you think, have you got an hypothesis of why it, it doesn't really work, this trickle-down effect? It, it's difficult to say. Um, maybe the people who are attending elite sport events, who, who are supporting elite sport um, athletes, um, they, are doing, uh, they are going to the event or supporting the, the athletes only for fun to enjoy it and maybe for social um, interest. But now maybe they are not... Um, influenced because they don't uh, think they are elite athletes themselves. So there is a gap between the, the dream and the reality. Okay. So Alexis, thank you very much for your, your, your great piece of research and your time talking to us. But as a last word, could you tell us if there is still some gaps in the literature that you have, you have identified and might need a, a bit further investigation? 
Yes, in our systematic review, we only included three articles which uh, evaluated the effect of elite sport role modeling. So it's difficult to conclude about uh, with only three, three studies. Uh, we might expect an effect of a mega star like Messi or Ronaldo, famous soccer, soccer players, to influence the kids to play football. But we do not have um, any data on that. So we need more um, studies on that topic specif specifically. OK, Alexis, thank you very much again. It's been a delight to have you. And we wish you all the best for your future research and your uh, career.